Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3, where it's a boogie woogie party all the time. Alright, that, that, that rhythm was actually kind of catchy. I listened to it for a little while <laughs> between episodes there, so yeah, that's pretty cool. As I watch this Clayman assembly line, time becomes like a blur to me. <laughs> Falling asleep on the job, huh? Disgraceful. Claymen break down or malfunction, they take themselves to the garbage area. Talk about convenient. Yeah, really. So we kind of have a set path here we have to follow. Oh, hello, Commander. What's that? You're looking for a Clayman? Oh, Clayman has gone haywire. Come now, Commander. I know there's no need for me to say this, but our product development is flawless. We've never made anything that might go berserk or malfunction. No siree. But what about the one that's malfunctioning? This is an instant revitalizing machine. Yes, I know what those are. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright, good stuff. I don't know if we really even needed it that much or not, but whatever. Okay. Whoa, nice. You look important. Nice cape, too. I just saw an out-of-control claymate run out the back door. If you're looking for it, you better hurry before it gets stuffed inside a garbage truck and taken to the dump. Still, what in the world did you hide in it? Must have been something crazy to get you in such a tizzy. No, you can't say. Must be something embarrassing then, huh? Yeah, I left my porn stash in there. Okay, anyway. So I broke it down, Clayman, rush out the back door, super fast, yep. Clayman, break the climb into garbage trucks, yep. Think about that, it makes me feel kind of sad, yep. <laughs> Alright. Ah, oh, there he is. <laughs> Appears to be having a little bit of trouble here. Oof. <laughs> Let's go ahead and kick him in there. Uh-oh, looks like they're getting away. Oh crap, we can't let it get away. Yeah, we sure can't, can we? But let's check the surrounding area first. Nothing... Okay, now we can go. So as we go through here, this is sort of a little highway section, and uh, these guys are very, very strange. This is a wound-up road hog. Yeah, I don't, don't even ask. It, it's kind of like the agitated boar back from the beginning of the game, but with, uh, like, beach balls for wheels and a little wind-up thing. And of course they have this awesome music, so I can't complain too much. Charged. Yeah, this guy actually means serious business. Uh, if you let him attack you too much, he will wipe you out without too much trouble. So, I mean, as you can see, that charge attack did like 76 damage or something on Duster, so... Oh man. Thought I snuck up on him. Okay, we're having a pretty easy time with those guys, so no real problems there. There's also a new enemy here. I don't think this guy's gonna get the chance to do anything, but this is a scrapped robot. As you can see, it's in pretty bad shape already. I kinda like the background for this one, though. And of course, you gotta love this song, so... See, there we go. I mean, I didn't get to do anything. This is a pretty easy enemy. There's really nothing to worry about here with these guys. Alright, let's get going. Now, this is actually a pretty cool uh, song here, too. Uh, the music from this little highway area. Remember, I warned you pretty much at the very beginning of this LP, I'd be gushing about the music all the time. Well, there you go. <laughs> it's another case. Oh, hey, it's a pork bean. I've ridden in one of those before. Not as these guys, but as a monkey. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know it was you, Commander. Man, this whole Commander thing is just really good, isn't it? From the looks of it, it appears that you mistakenly threw something into the garbage. Ready for the garbage dump. Please follow the truck in this. Alright, cool, you're just gonna give us your vehicle? That's pretty awesome. The garbage dump is northeast of here. Please hurry after it and retrieve whatever embarrassing thing it was that you accidentally threw away. Please be very careful not to slip and get in an accident. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. I don't know if Lucas knows how to drive one of these things, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, apparently he doesn't. <laughs> that guy's like frozen there. We'll actually come back to him in a little bit, but we've got some other stuff to do first. What do we slip on a banana peel? Oh man, look at that thing, it's wrecked. Hey, weren't you at Club City Boo? At least somebody who looks like you. Commander, are you all right? That damn facade's been tossing banana peels all over the place, so it's easy to slip on him. Here, you can take my pork bean if you'd like. Uh-oh. What is it? <laughs> Does he know we're not really the commander? Huh? I'm not sure why, but you smell like a dog and a kid. You're that 
kid from Club Titty Boot. Maybe you think you can fool everyone else, but there's no fool them out, Wild Nose. You sneaky piece of scum pretending to be our commander. Hey, it just kind of fell into place, all right? I wasn't trying to. But anyway, this is the Fierce Pork Trooper, sort of a uh, little... I guess it's sort of a mini-boss. It's not really a full boss caliber, really. Uh, but there's actually a trick that you can do to this guy, and as such, I'm just going to pretty much attack here. Um, let's see, I think, yeah, Boney has the DCMC pamphlet. Remember, this guy was at the DCMC concert, so what you can actually do is have Boney show off the DCMC pamphlet, and what will happen here is the Fierce Pork Trooper is utterly mesmerized by the DCMC merchandise. And now he's pretty much taken out for a few turns. He's not really going to do anything to us. So, if you want, you can really just use that and uh, really keep this guy immobilized throughout the entire fight. But you can see it said he was jealous there. This is also a really good song. I love this song. Alright, so now what we're going to do is actually get to debuffing. I know I probably shouldn't do this while he's, uh, um, like, jealous or whatever, but I want to go ahead and get this out of the way before he starts attacking again. So, uh, and offense decreased by 25, which is pretty awesome. And then we're going to do it again here by 12. And then, of course, next turn we'll take out his defense. That's kind of the key to actually a lot of the boss battles in this game, is uh, doing the offense and defense down stuff. It actually really helps out quite a lot. It'll be even better once uh, Lucas actually learns, like, offense up Omega, which will get the entire party. As it is, I think he knows offense up Alpha, but, you know, that only does one character, so that'd be a lot of turns you'd have to waste trying to uh, get everyone's offense up. All right, so he uh, turned back to normal and did a bum rush. Here we go again with the bump rushing. Alright, and Duster's Tickle Stick failed, so I'm just gonna have him attack. And, uh, yeah, she could use a little bit of healing, but she's okay. She won't die, I don't think. Alright, another defense down. We're just gonna speed this up a little bit. Bum rush again. 105. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's even with offense down, you know, so. Alright, so he's definitely gonna need some healing. Uh, we'll probably just have Kumatora do that. Love this song, this is so much fun. Oh crap, he killed Lucas. Come on, Kumatoya, get it out. <laughs> I have secret herbs, but I really don't want to use them. Oh no, I used healing alpha. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding. Oh wow. All right, well, looks like it's secret herb time. That was an utter failure on pretty much every level. All right, so let's bring Lucas back to life. Hopefully he won't uh, attack him again. Made a bag of pork chips. All right, yeah, heal yourself. There you go. Oh, wait, why did... Oh, my, okay. Wait, how did... How did Lucas get healed, too? What just happened there? Was that a glitch or something? Huh. Okay, well, I, I guess I'm not going to question it, but wow, that was weird. I've never seen that happen before. All right, this guy shouldn't have too much more left, even after healing himself. A duster pretty much just took that away with one attack, so... Oh, nice, and we solidified him. Good. Can't move. All right, yeah, let's just wail on this guy now. There we go. See, I knew we were almost done. So, all right, we took out the Fierce Pork Trooper. Now, that guy, if you don't debuff his offense, he can do a ton of damage to you. As you can see, I mean, we even uh, took his offense down quite a lot, and he still did like 100-something damage to Lucas. You know, of course, if I actually would have bothered to use life up instead of healing, that would have actually helped, but whatever. And he also drops a pickled veggie plate for some reason, but... Not bad, but don't think this is over just yet. Ah, yeah, slip and fall the banana peel. Nice exit. Yeah, we can actually do that, too, if we run over it. Oh! <laughs> Alright, so he's left us his uh, pork bean here, probably not willingly, but... Alright, so let's get in, and now we can use it to drive around. And actually, what I'm gonna do first is go back to where we came from. Remember this guy? Yeah, he's still just standing here, like, completely frozen in time, like, nothing you can do. Even if you talk to him, he's passed out. So, like, he passed out standing up doing that salute. That's awesome. So, <laughs> I guess the shock of seeing the commander crash, you know, did that to him or something. I don't know. You can also sort of, like, spin out on the pork bean if you run over banana peels. So, 
<laughs> it can get a little bit annoying, but... Alright, so now, uh, I think, yeah, the map is right here, and the map is actually going to be pretty useful for this place. Uh, so let's go ahead and pick it up, and then we'll uh, check it out and end the video. So this is pretty much where we're at, uh, the little facility down there in the bottom right is where we came from. And uh, as you can see, you might be able to see the Thunder Tower is actually over there on the far right. So we've got a few places to explore around here, and there's actually something pretty important we're going to be picking up in this area. But it looks like we're uh, about to run out of time, so we're going to have to save that for another part. Uh, until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.